All right, uh, hello, my name is uh, Leon Ying. I graduated with a PhD in nuclear physics at the University of Liverpool. I've traveled the world extensively. I was uh, born in Singapore. I was brought up and educated in England, and I've been living the last 15 years in uh, America. Uh, so obviously I'm here to uh, describe my twin universe theory and how that conceptually, logically leads to a concept of a a god, basically. Uh, my, my twin universe theory uh, comes about from the, the fundamental laws of thermodynamics. Thermodynamics governs everything in life. It's the foundation of all science, of all life, of economics. So the, there's two fundamental laws of thermodynamics. One is the conservation of energy, and the other one is, uh, is that entropy is always increasing in the universe. Entropy needs to increase for life to exist. So I'm totally supportive of that, and I understand why it needs to be. But my theory postulates that our universe has to exist as a twin, uh, because I've modified the second law of thermodynamics, that entropy has to be conserved. Now, the only way entropy can be conserved is that in our positive universe, where life has to exist, and entropy has to be forever increasing, in the negative universe, Entropy is decreasing, therefore you add the two universes together, the entropy balances out perfectly and it's conserved. Negative entropy has weird phenomenal effect. It, it reverses the direction of time, it, it causes gravity to be repulsive, and you know, it's, it's, it also has a, a duality effect in the, same, in the sense that the same state cannot exist in one part of the universe to the other part. I mean, this is a, a fundamental uh, principle of uh, quantum physics, the duality principle. A photon and light can exist as a jack on hide, as a, a wave or a solid entity, uh, depending on how you observe it, how you interact with it. So my twin universe says that in our positive universe, where we exist as individual entities, entropy is going forward, time is going forward, gravity is attractive. In the opposite universe, to conserve entropy, time goes backward, gravity is repulsive, and all of us cannot exist in the same individual state that we exist now. So if something exists as a particle in our positive universe, it has to exist as a wave in the other negative universe. And similarly, if something exists as a wave in this universe, it has to exist as a solid entity in the other universe. A classic example is, in our positive universe, most most of everything exists as a wave. Radiation from the sun comes to us as a wave. It's only when we interact with it, we see it with our eyes, that it basically is solidified, condenses as a solid particle. So most of this universe exists as a wave, means that in the other universe, again, to conserve entropy, it has to have the dual state. It means it has to exist as a solid entity. Now, a solid wave particle is called a photon. So in the other universe, our entire space is filled with individual f photons. Now, because again, a consequence of the negative entropy is that the matter is, has negative repulsive uh, gravitational force. So the individual photon that exists in the negative universe is actually repulsively repelling each other. And that's exactly what dark energy is. Cosmology, one of the biggest goal of cosmology is the search of dark matter and dark energy. So my theory say that the dark energy is actually the, the condensed form, the twin form of radiation wave that exists as photon in the other universe with this negative gravitational repulsion which is ripping the actual fabric of space-time. The two universes exist in the same space-time. And we also explain why my universe also accounts for the ten dimensions as required in string theory. Because in this positive universe, we have the four dimensions, three space, one time. By definition, in the twin universe, there's also four identical dimensions, which makes up the eighth dimension. But the two universes are separated by a 2P membrane. So it's like the skin of your, so it's like a Siamese twin, the way I describe it. I have two Siamese twins, which are attached by a membrane. So this memory accounts for two dimensions. So you have four dimension positive universe, four dimension negative universe, and a 2P membrane. And that gives you 10 dimension, which is actually required in string theory. 
So my theory accounts or is compatible with string theory. My theory also explains what dark matter and dark energy is. In fact, my theory predicts that dark matter and dark energy has to be exactly 50% because the two, two universes are identical. Uh, now, in cosmology, people have measured uh, with the experiment that dark matter is around 74%. Uh, sorry, dark energy is around 74%, dark matter is, is around 24%, and the rest of it is ordinary baryonic matter. But my, my theory and the other experiments, other scientists which basically state that dark matter and dark energy are actually one and the same thing. They just have different effects, different phenomena. Dark matter is needed to explain the, the, the fast rotational speeds of galaxy. And dark energy is needed to explain the acceleration uh, the accelerated expansion of our universe. But actually, the two are actually one and the same. Now, the reason why that's important is if they're one and the same but have different effects, then if you subtract the quantity, 24% minus 74%, you actually end up with 50% for dark matter and dark energy, which is actually what my theory uh, predicts. Um, right now, I'm, I'm working on more predictive, quantifiable things that I can compare with raw data. But of course, I believe that cosmology and even high energy physics will verify that our universe actually do exist as a, as a twin universe, basically. Uh, now, so how do you bring all this together? Into uh, the, the God, okay, so, so obviously the, the God, now, you have to remember, I come from a physics background, I come from a very anti-religious, I called myself a few years ago a bigot, a religious bigot. I thought people that needed religion, that believed in God, were a bunch of losers that needed to get a life. That's how I was. So it, it was a painful journey for me to admit that I, I you know, well, I, my scientific definition of God is a single omnipotent consciousness, and I'll explain how I come about to that definition. 